Ernest Everett Just was born on August 14, 1883 in Charleston, South Carolina. At an early age, Ernest developed intense appreciation for the diversity and complexity of the natural world, sparking his interest in science. He enjoyed exploring the woods, marshes, and beaches with his grandfather, often collecting specimens or simply observing plants and animals. With racial segregation in the South, Ernest's early education was extremely limited. At 16, his mother was raising Ernest and his siblings by herself since his father had died when he was four. She sent him north due to the poor condition of schools available to black children in the South. Ernest attended the preparatory school, Kimball Hall Academy in New Hampshire, where he first formally studied biology and found academic success, which opened opportunities for higher education. He went on to study biology and history at Dartmouth College, where he developed specific fascination in the eggs of marine life and in the structure of cells. Even though Just was a Rufus Coate scholar, won special honors in zoology and graduated magna cum laude, he was denied the opportunity to deliver a commencement speech because the Dartmouth faculty thought it would be insulting to the white students, parents, and alumni to have the graduating classes only black student do so. This discrimination continued as Just searched for a job as a professor and also sought a graduate school where he could continue his studies. Despite his undergraduate success, no white school would hire him. Fortunately, he found a position at Howard University, a historically black college in Washington, D.C. in 1907, where he later became the head of the Department of Zoology in 1912. During this time, he joined the biology PhD program at the University of Chicago, where he worked with Frank Lilly, who served as the second director for biology at the university and also the second director at the Marine Biological Laboratory. To carry out research towards his degree, Lilly invited Just to spend his summers at the Marine Biological Laboratory beginning in 1909. Just was the first African American to study and work at the MBO. Working with Lilly, Just dove into courses in laboratory work with zeal. Focusing on embryology and questions of fertilization, Just examined the problems of cell cleavage and sea urchins and marine worms, which led to his first publication in 1912. Just's article demonstrated that the entry point of the sperm determines the first cleavage plane. His research became the authoritative and fundamental work on cell cleavage of marine eggs. Just was the first African American to receive a PhD from Chicago, which he did in 1916. He continued this research at the MBL, where he looked especially at the role of cell membrane in fertilization and development. Subsequently, Just was promoted to MBL investigator, continuing his work on egg cells. He often harvested his own specimens aboard the MBL's vessel, the Kaya Detta, and became a sought-after expert in the handling and care of marine invertebrates and their eggs. I wish I could have talked with Ernest Just at the MBL about his research and his life experiences. Hi, Ernest. This is a beautiful day. Indeed. Feel the beauty of nature because we are part of nature and because we know that however much in our separate domains we abstract from the unity of nature, this unity remains. Although we may deal with particulars, we return finally to the whole pattern woven out of these. Well said. Your insights on nature are truly inspiring. Ernest was such a great scientist because of his love of nature and attention to details. Just was recognized by the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People for his scientific discoveries in 1915, receiving the first ever NAACP Spingarn Medal Award, making him a role model to many upcoming black students. However, because of continuing racial bias, Just was unable to find a position at any major racially integrated institution for a permanent researcher position, and likewise felt hindered even at the MBL. Instead, Just 
searched out opportunities outside of the U.S., first traveling to the Stazione Zoologica in Naples, Italy, then to the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute in Berlin, the Sorbonne in Paris, and the Station Biologique in Roscoff, France. Just broadened his scope while abroad, becoming more philosophical as he wove his scientific findings and his ideas of life together. One of his later publications looked at ethics and biology. Despite the obstacles of racial prejudice throughout his life, Ernest Everett Just had many significant scientific accomplishments and he made an impact at the MBL. During the over 20 summers Just had spent at the MBL, he'd become known as a genius in the design of experiments and published more than 70 scientific articles. He became the editor of the journal Physiological Zoology in 1929, was elected to the editorial board of the MBL's Biological Bulletin in 1930, and elected vice president president of the American Society of Zoologists in 1930. Just's book in 1939, The Biology of the Cell Surface, synthesized his discoveries into a whole, making scientific concepts accessible to general readers and influencing scientists around the world. For these reasons, we are proud to tell the story of Ernest Everett Just at the Marine Biological Laboratory.